Wolf is going to try and throw it now. Dumps it off to Watson at the 20. Inside the 15. Blake Watson to the 10. The 5. Blake Watson leads. Touchdown, Old Dominion. Blake Watson, catch, run, spin, and score. This is the ODU Coaches Show, sponsored by Chartway Federal Credit Union. After a week to refresh and regroup, it is back to the gridiron for the Monarchs. Thanks so much for being with us here on the Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show. Of course, the Silver and Blue picking things back up on the road tomorrow night. We sit down with head coach Ricky Ronnie to discuss getting things going at Coastal Carolina and taking that teal field. Well, Coach, you get the bye week to regroup. What was the most productive part of the bye week for you guys? I think there was a number of different things. I mean, uh, I thought we got some younger guys, some reps in practice, uh, and really got to see, you know, what guys can do. Mm -hmm. um, I thought we, you know, we still got our older guys work, uh, got got a head start on on Coastal Carolina, which I thought was important for us. Um, and then we were able to get out and get some recruiting done. Uh, and I thought that that was that was great to get on the road and, and uh, you know kind of um, did a number of different things here in region and and then across the country, which which I think is you know it's just hard to get out you know yeah. during the season. So it, that was a, a big part of it. Fifteen teams are undefeated right now. You get one of them in six and zero Coastal Carolina. They're already bull eligible. What's been their recipe for success so far? Well, they've created a lot of turnovers. Uh, they, they they lead the country in turnover margin right now. I think that that's going to be. Um, you know, a huge factor in the game. Um, they've been able to run the ball, and and really they've been able to get leads on teams, and 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 then kind of lean on them a little bit. And so that's that's kind of the other thing is their offense has played well, particularly early um, in games, has, has played really well, and their defense is same thing has has, has been able to uh, play well early in games and, and get them a lead. And then they've been able to, you know, their style lends it to keeping that lead. Well, and, and their early success and success in general is not foreign when it comes to Jamie Chadwell. You want to talk about turning a program around. They had three straight losing seasons when he came in. Since he came in, they're 28-3, and three, have posted back-to-back 11-win -back seasons and three straight 6-0 starts. I mean, creating a culture there, I mean, it's, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, he's done a nice job, uh, you know, getting it turned around. I mean, they've had some good players, and, and, and obviously the quarterback helps there. Uh, he's played really, really well for him, and 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 has got developed. So, you know, I think that, uh, you know, obviously he's done a great job there, and we've got to be able to, you know, go in there to their place and 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 go in there and get a win. And you know, I feel confident with our game plan and 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 the way our kids are prepared. So, we're we're, we're ready for that challenge. Want to lift the curtain on the game plan a little bit, or is there anything that you can uh, that you can uh, let let Monarch fans in on that? No, I mean, we, we, we know what we have to do. I mean, uh, you know, I think that the key thing against them is, you know, on defense you've got to be sound. Um, you know, they're going to test um, whether your, your option's sound and those sort of things, but they still they get the ball down the field and, and they've got great speed. And then on, on defense, you know, you've got to make sure that you've always got good angles. Um, they do a nice job of, of, of creating different fronts. They've got a big giant guy in the middle there that, that creates some problems. Um, and then, like I said, they've created a bunch of turnovers. So you've got to stay, you know, you've got to be able to protect the football. You mentioned their quarterback, Grayson McCall. 15 TDs, just one interception this year. It has a good supporting cast two really solid receivers around him, a good running back. What has been his secret to success, and has it been maybe part of the cast around him? I think he uses the cast around him very well. Um, you know, he uses his legs when he needs to. He doesn't take unnecessary risks, um, either there or with the ball. Um, and, uh, you know, he operates the scheme really, really well. I mean, I think that, that, that that's what he does. Obviously, he's very talented. Um, so it's it's just about being able to contain him and making sure that you know we always we have guys in the right spots and 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 we're still playing aggressive but we're sound in what we're doing. Well, and you talk about offensive balance. He has a guy behind him in C.J. Beasley. I'm sure everybody saw the Myrtle hurdle there from a couple weeks ago, where he leaped for the game-winning touchdown against Georgia Southern. But he's he, his talent goes far beyond that too. Has eclipsed 100 yards in the, in two of the last three games. So you have something you have to contain there as well. I'm sure. Yeah, local guy obviously, yep. um, and 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 a guy who. You know, we've got to make sure that we that we stop the run against them. You know, I mean, um, their quarterback is a very good player, and he can obviously beat you with his arm. But if, if you don't stop the run, then you know those play action passes get really hard to defend. So we've got to stop the run. That's going to be the number one. You know, a number one thing we got to do, and 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 really that's that's each and every week, not just this one. 
No doubt at all. Noon tomorrow, Coastal Carolina hosting Old Dominion. That's an ESPNU if you can't make it down there to Coastal. Coming up, a treat for you. Coach Ronnie takes us through some film study and talks to us about how he watches and breaks down tape. That's coming up when the Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show continues right after this. Our snap is good. Dwayne going for the near corner, and that's going to hit at the one and stay there. How about that from the Aussie? As the housing market cools down, the landscape is shifting. We want everybody to have the opportunity to be a homeowner. News 3 takes a deep dive into the complex world of real estate. As mortgage rates rise, who has the upper hand? We are back to negotiating. We're back to asking for home inspections. How to figure out how much home you can afford. And that's the key, working with the right person. And the calculations to make before you talk to a lender. News 3 breaks down the hurdles to housing. Monday morning at 6. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments. Find new roads. Get 1,500 total cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine. Plus, now during truck season, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward a new Chevy truck with accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. At Chartway, part of our mission is to support and give back, bring hope, and do good every day. We've raised over $14 million to help children facing medical hardship, awarded $25,000 annually to Old Dominion's Athletic Scholarship Fund, and provided nearly $380,000 in awards to other Chartway student members. At Chartway, our people first mindset is about doing what's right and what's kind, unlocking potential to help everyone thrive. Chartway, the official credit union of ODU Athletics. Republicans in Congress want to force their values on you. They want to take away your right to decide how you live your own life. Whether it's abortion or even contraception, extreme Republicans think they know what's best for you. I disagree. I think you know what's best for you. I'm Elaine Luria. I approve this message because I value your freedom. And I trust you to make your own decisions, not some politician in Washington. This is the 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. With seven 4x4 drive modes, you can take on the trails and make a clean getaway from all things basic. The 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. Anything but basic. Get 1.9% financing for 36 months on Pathfinder or shop our inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. The holidays are just around the corner. Is your bathroom ready for company? Jacuzzi Bathroom Model by Mr. Fixit can help. Why wait to get the bathroom of your dreams? We're offering 50% off labor and take advantage of our easy pay program. No money down, no payments until 2024, or payments as low as $99 a month. Let us put our 52 years of experience and customer trust to work for you. Jacuzzi Bathroom Model by Mr. Fixit. You can have the bath you've always dreamed of without spending your life savings to get it. Third down and goal. Quick pass inside. Jennings. Touchdown, Old Dominion. Another one for Ali. That was Ted Alexander on the call. The Old Dominion Sports Radio Network 94.1. If you can't make it down to Coastal this weekend, be sure to catch Ted on the call. Now, we get the chance to see the Monarchs take the field each and every Saturday, but that work between the white lines is only part of the process. After the game is where the work really begins. Lights down, projector on, focus intense. Take a look. Well, Coach, so much of the preparation for the field comes away from the field. How much time would you say you spend in the film room per week? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's, there's some stuff that you're doing with um, the other coaches. Uh, we do a lot of game planning together so that we can bounce each other, uh, ideas off each other, but also so that we all are on the same page. Right. Right. Um, so that's critical. And then there's some that you kind of do on your own so that you can maybe say, hey, I saw this or I saw this. and. I think it's this way, or you know, um, I think maybe, hey, they're blitzing the back, or or hey, when this guy's in this position, they're running this coverage, or hey, when the back is offset here, they always run this play if you're on defense, right. or, or or whatever. So, um, you know, I, I mean, I don't know, fifty, 
I mean, maybe more. Wow. I mean, I mean it, it's it's a long time. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's take a look at a play, if you don't mind, and to, uh, see what you guys look at when you uh, when you're dialing through here. Yeah. So, I mean, this is just we'll just go very simple. This is just uh, us against FIU, and and I'll just kind of show. You know, there's three different views. So there was always this view. So this is always this is called sideline view, or, or a lot of people call it the all 22. Okay. Um, so you can always see that. And this is like kind of the coach's view and, and, and those sort of things. So this is a great view to have. This is the angle you watch the most, per se? No, you watch all of them, and I'm going to show you why here in a second. So, so you're watching here, and right here, um, you're getting some man coverage, just first, just first play of the game. You know, we're just getting a little bit of a fake there um, just to kind of hold the backers in there in case it was zone. We wanted to hold him in there. Um, it's a great route by Ali, and then a good placement there by Hayden, and we're able to get this ball completed to start the game off on, 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 a, on a real positive note. Um, but if you'll see here, okay. so this is called the tight shot, right? So this is, this is the tight shot, so this is um, the one where you're able to see it. You know, you'd love, you love it when it's your, 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 from the, your back. Okay. Okay? Um, and, you know, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, your butt angle. All right? This is, the best way to, this is the best way to see it. And this allows us to see exactly what type of techniques there are. So, like, techniques are numbered, okay? So, like, right there, this guy's in a three technique. So, you've got, you've got a one or a shade, all right? You know, you've got a, you know, a two is head up. Right, a three's outside, a four is head up, a five's outside. Okay, and then you've got eyes, which is inside or on the inside eye. So that'd be four I, that would be two I, that sort of thing. All right, it gets messed up on the tight end area, so we won't even go there because it gets kind of messed up. Okay. Um, but 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 this is what you're seeing. So as you start to see stuff, you can see its techniques and feet and all that sort of stuff. Yep. Um, and there, the game is played from this angle. Okay, so this is how the quarterback is seeing This is it. more how you see it. Right? Yes. So now you can start to see it a little bit better. So this is this angle is not required to send to opponents. Um, you the first two are okay. you have to send those to opponents. So so anyway, that that's kind of what we're seeing. So now you can kind of see all the things of how it is and really build up, you know, some 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 good habits and all those sort of things. Um, okay, so so we'll just skip to right to that view right now. So now we've got a little three-step concept going on here, and really almost just counting numbers, right? We've got yeah. three guys over here. They've got four, right? right? So this is obviously just simple math. This ain't the right side to go to, okay? <laughs> right. So really over here, it's two on two. Now this Mike can kind of create a, a kind of a third piece to this side, and a lot of times he'll match where the back is going. Now this particular see, is see, see how he opens up to this side? Mm -hmm. Now we know we have two on two over here when the mic turns over here, and now it should be simple pitch and catch. Now we end up missing this one. We really should throw this ball to the flat right there, um, and, 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 and that's where this ball should go. The ball goes to the flat. He can get up the sideline. We try to hit it behind his ear, simple slap, flat, uh, 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 flat slant combination here. We try to go and there we go. But you can see how he tries to get back into it right. right there late. But we really, this ball should be out right here. So this is essentially where a guy like Hayden would watch that that one, the one, the Mike guy right there. Yes. In terms of, and then hey, what, what you see him do determines where you throw the ball. Exactly. What you see him do determines to where, which side you work. Right. Right? And then after that, you have a progression off that. So, like, let's say the mic had just flown this way, like right off the jump had just gone this way. They push, pushed it, yep. all right, and they'd gone this way. Well, now we just work. We have three slants to this side, all right, so we, now we just work there to there to there. Because so he would have cleared out the middle of the field. Correct. If, so if this mic would go this way and this guy does this, we just hit this guy right now. Right. And this guy, he collapses, he collapses, and now we've got the winner on the outside. So it's just a, you know, it just depends. You know, sometimes you have full field progressions, which start in the boundary and work all the way through, and then this one would be a split field progression, which you're going based on what the mic is doing. Well, it, it makes sense why you watch so many hours of film now, because you're looking at so much and so many players and so many schemes, and I would guess you have to watch the same play m more than numerous times to get get a, a good oh, feel. Oh yeah, for it. I mean, yeah. There's, there's a number of different things um, to show. I mean, we'll go to this kind of third down play here. Um, yeah, so right here. We go into third down, we're getting into um, what we call FIB, which is formation into boundary. Some right. people call it FSL, which is formation into sideline, okay? So it just kind of depends. And what we mean by that is we have the strength of the formation is into the boundary. Is it, Usually you've got it to the field here, it's into the boundary. Okay. Um, you know, it does a couple of different things, gives your guy out here a little bit more space if they're going to decide to still call the strength this way. Um, but it just makes the defense decide, all right, how are we going to play this? Because okay. it's a little bit different. 
All right, so, um, you know, they're, they're playing just a simple, uh, they're trying to show cover four in their shell right here, meaning, right, I've got a deep quarter, 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 okay, right, right here. What we, what we always talk to everybody, and you always hear about this, is like reading the safety rotation. This safety is rotating down right here, okay. I like to think of things of them um, being on, and I'll show them from this angle, of being on a bicycle chain, right? Oh, okay. So, so if this linebacker is going to blitz, right, if these guys are going to blitz here, right. right, well, they've got to pull the chain, and if the chain gets pulled, then he get he has to get pulled this way, got it. and somebody's got to get pulled this way, the whole bicycle chain's got to get pulled. So the, when it's zone coverage, the the chain's got to get pulled. When it's right. man, doesn't have to get pulled exactly. as much, right? But when it's zone, the chain's got to get pulled, and, 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 and I think that that helps guys, you know, visualize that and all those sort of things. So right here, you know, we've got this guy kind of clearing out the middle, all right? And then we're able to, we needed, we knew we needed to have more throws in this intermediate area, right. um, and, and we were able to get one on him right here for, for, for a pretty big one. We knew we weren't Don't go that. away. We continue our film study with head coach Ricky Ronnie when the Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show continues right after this. Welders help keep America running. Building and repair of ships, bridges, pipelines, and skyscrapers. Prepare for your future with ATI. Hands-on, learning by doing, in the booth. Work with steel and aluminum. Earn up to five American Welding Society certifications in structural and pipe while in school. Complete the program in just 15 months. Classes starting soon at the Virginia Beach campus. Learn more about all of our hands-on programs at auto.edu. At Chartway, part of our mission is to support and give back. We've raised over $14 million to help children facing medical hardship and provided nearly $380,000 in awards to Chartway student members. Chartway, the official credit union of ODU Athletics. Don't miss the ODU Coaches Show with head coach Ricky Ronnie. Now in the Sun Belt Conference, the competition is fierce. Get the game plan on this week's matchup Friday nights at 7.30, only on News 3, sponsored by Chartway Federal Credit Union. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments. Find new roads. Get 1,500 total cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine. Plus, now during truck season, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward a new Chevy truck with accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. When your back pain is your foot's fault, this is Dean's story. I had back pain, and I honestly didn't know where to go. Until a friend suggested the Good Feet store. She had to explain to me the feet are connected to the back. And get this. As soon as I put on those Good Feet arch supports, the pressure lifted off my back. It's like finding that missing puzzle piece. Like, yes, this is it. Stop by for your free fitting at the Good Feet store. Add drama to every drive. The exhilarating Audi SUV family. Get exceptional offers at your local Audi dealer. When the Soviet Union put the world in danger, we built the strongest navy in the world. Today, China's influence and aggression threaten our allies and our economy. I'm Elaine Luria, and as vice chair of the Armed Services Committee, I'm fighting to grow our navy. I bucked the Biden administration and added $62 billion to the defense budget. I approve this message because a strong navy means a strong America, and that's what I'm fighting for in Congress. How often are you watching your own guys? This is obviously an opponent's scouting film, but when you're watching film, how much are you watching your own guys as opposed to the opponent? Obviously, you have to get an idea of what they're going to do, but then you also have to watch your own guys and see how they do, too. Yeah, both. I mean, and then you've got to, like I was just talking about, you've got to do some self-scout, too. Yeah, sure. Right? So yeah. some of it is, um, right there, we, we knew we weren't hitting that intermediate area enough. We were either hitting deep or short, and so we needed to hit that intermediate area because we started to see the linebackers starting to settle at six yards, and then the DBs all get deep to try to protect against our downfield shots. So we knew we had to hit that. 
or you can watch the opponent and know that they're doing that, right? right? Um, right. How they're playing things and things like that. For example, this play right here, we watched the opponent and we knew um, when we ran some sort of you know, like screen type stuff over here that they really hit it hard, okay. all right? And so they gave us an opportunity to kind of fake the screen, right? And then they all just kind of come up. There and you go, go because by. they expect Ali to get it, and then look, Zach gets behind yeah. his coverage there. Exactly. Now, very simply, okay, not everything works out the way you're expecting it. Yeah. Okay? This is... An unmitigated disaster if you're this team, all right? Um, I mean, this isn't how this is supposed to work out. This guy is supposed to clear this thing out, and this is the guy we think is going to catch the touchdown, right? But sometimes things work that's out. Ball, right? Guys make plays, and, and, and this is what happens, and, and, you know, that's whatever. I would love to point out, and even Zach, you can see Zach's kind of like, well, I guess that worked. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, that's, that's just what happens. So, you know, I would like to point out, okay, this... Makes me appreciate our fans a ton. Yeah, I think that's, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, you see this right here, and our fans show up and show out all the time, and I can't tell, you know, how much I appreciate that because it just makes the atmosphere a lot better. Well, I'm it, sure you're not thinking of that in the moment where you're watching film, but that certainly puts things into perspective. No absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And it does. Sometimes you do think about that because you start to think to yourself, all right, are we going to have to coach our guys to create their own juice? Is it going to be very, very loud at this stadium? Right. Is it going to, like, how close are the stands? Are we going to have to talk to our guys about, you know, like, hey, these guys are going to be talking to you a bunch? And right. Those sort of things. I mean, so it does. It does vary on 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 some of those sort of things. So you like go to an East Carolina. You see, you can see on the film that they're kind of like closer to you than say an FIU. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and and I, and I think that those are the things that are important for us to see. And 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 you've got to be able to coach those up. I mean, that that's that's an important part of it. You know what I mean? So. Right. You know, we kind of thought this was going to happen. When we got into a big heavy set on third and two, right, they all get tight and, mm -hmm. and, and, and this sort of thing. We end up running an inside zone here, okay, but they just don't have an edge. Right. Right, they have nobody to set all the edge. All that space, the, look at all that space. They have no one to set the edge of the defense, and then away we go. All right. Hey, it looks like, in watching the film, you got some speed there, too. No. And the worst part is, the one thing I hate more than anything in the world is, like, directional coaching. Yeah. So you see right here, we got, you know, we're, like, telling guys, like, where to go. Like, they know where to go. You know what I mean? Like, like that. So I, I, I did a nice job of not directional coaching on this play, which I was excited about. Um, but that, you know, that, that, that got us going right there. And then, you know, we were able to take a, a pretty early lead in the game. But, like, you can see it from this angle really, really, really well, right? They, they're kind of selling out. Their safety's playing low right here, okay? And now they just have no levels of their defense, and, right. and they we're able to get outside. Now, uh, the same type of defense has worked out plenty of times. This guy sets the edge. It makes us go back inside, and now that's why these third and two plays can be really hard to convert, right? Yeah. This ball would have to go back, but wind all the way back here to this guy, Jeez. and now there's a space tackle, all right? And we'll see who can who, who's going to man up and make that play, whether the running back's going to run through that and get the first down and get hit the six feet he needs, or whether this guy's going to go there. Well, and I can certainly see why this is your favorite angle, too, because, you, again, it's that, it's that you know, you know, seeing it from the butt angle that you were yeah. talking about, and also it's wide, so you see all that space, and you can see what everybody is doing. There's no doubt. And it's a great angle to see things and all those sort of things. I will, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this moment to try to, to try to say one thing, okay? Everybody talks about, I know there are fans out there right now who wonder why we don't get under center and quarterback sneak. Okay? Understood. Or why we don't get under center in these in, in, in a, short, a short yardage situations. Situation. Which, by sure. the way, we've been pretty good at since I've been here. Right. Okay? This handoff point, right, right here. Yeah is actually closer to the line of scrimmage yeah, than if be. this guy, if he was going back. If I, if I was going back, I'd be handing it off at about six yards deep. Here, I'm handing it off at about four yards deep. So he's actually getting the ball closer, and he's getting it going downhill. The other thing is, this guy here feels like he might get red, right? It feels like, he, you know, last week, Hayden pulled one and ran for a while and all those sort of things. This guy has to play defense. Right. When his back is turned, he can close a lot faster and add himself to this play a lot easier. They say, you've been riding a bike your whole life. Would you then, that for that moment, choose to ride a unicycle? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> so why, when we're shotgun every other play, would we all of a sudden, in one of the most critical plays in the game, go under Ch Change. We wrap up our film breakdown with Ricky Ronnie right so, after this. You know, not to mention... This is Three Rock Con Camp. You work hard, you'll reduce your sentence. This is a real baptism by fire. I want to succeed, but I can't do it here. Why is that? Because this is my hometown. 
He's a liability. What's that, ready in danger? Come on! You go, and I send you right back to prison. There'll be no forgiveness and no chance for parole. Come on, we're trapped! I thought you were dead. I'm finding something to live for. Fire Country, series premiere tonight after SWAT on CBS. Call the family of Michael and Son today and get $100 off any train cleaning. Schedule any service during the month of October, and a portion of all proceeds is donated to Inova Shar's Life with Cancer program, supporting women undergoing cancer treatment in our community. Michael and Son. If you overdraw your account, Wells Fargo gives you an extra day grace period to avoid the overdraft fee. What if everything came with a grace period? Like accidentally parking where you shouldn't. Hey, what about this one? Nah, that one gets an extra day. Somebody got lucky. Like having an extra day grace period? When it comes to overdrafts, you can with Wells Fargo. Republicans in Congress want to force their values on you. They want to take away your right to decide how you live your own life. Whether it's abortion or even contraception, extreme Republicans think they know what's best for you. I disagree. I think you know what's best for you. I'm Elaine Luria. I approve this message because I value your freedom. And I trust you to make your own decisions, not some politician in Washington. Be safe in there. Help keep what's important to you safe with Chevy Safety Assist, standard on these Chevy SUVs. Find new safe places, find new roads. Well qualified buyers can get 1.9% financing or get $1,200 cash allowance on all 2022 Equinox models. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Did you know Elaine Luria actually praised the Biden economy? She just doesn't get it. I'm getting hosed here. Elaine Elaine Loria, she helped create this economic mess, has no real plan to fix it, and we're paying the price. Help! Loria is so out of touch, she voted to give stimulus checks to criminals. Help! Liberal Elaine Loria, she's hosed us for the last time. I told you, blame Elaine Loria. Congressional Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. Call Michael and Son today and get a fall heating tune-up for only $69. And during the month of October, a portion of all proceeds is donated to Inova Shar's Life with Cancer program, supporting women undergoing cancer treatment in our community. Michael and Son. We're going to bring them over, but you can see right now, okay? All right, it's third and six. How many guys do they have deep back here? Zero. Exactly. Right, so you are thinking to yourself right now, this is probably cover zero, which what comes with cover zero is pressure, right? right. So yeah. we have on a, when he, especially when he goes with them, right? When he goes with them in motion like this, most of the time, not all the time, most of the time, it's man. That's why a lot of people will use motion sometimes, all right? Four almost gets confused here for a second because he thinks he's supposed to go, all right? But now they fix it, he goes yeah. over with them, right? Had they when they have deep safeties, they can bump it, which right. is a lot of times zone and things like that. Okay, so here he goes in zero. All right, we run this and look at all look at all that space. And then what happens is what happens. This guy's supposed to be traveling with this guy. Yep, and now he's wide open. He's wide open. The key to this is Hayden seeing this, seeing that it's zero. We don't have enough blockers, right? Because so he just can, knows he has to get it out quick. Yeah, they, they're, they're actually bringing seven guys, right. right? We only have six blockers. So guess what? One of them's Hayden's guy. Yep. So that guy off the edge becomes Hayden's guy. He gets it out before. He knows it's coming. He gets it out. And now they've got to tackle him. We end up scoring a touchdown on this play. That wraps up tonight's edition of the Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show. Remember, tomorrow, noon, Old Dominion at Coastal Carolina. Catch the game on ESPNU. For Zach Staten, I'm Mark Davis. Have a great weekend, everybody, and go Monarchs.